Grandmaster Flowers in 1967 opened for James Brown at Yankee Stadium. In 1967. Wow. 1967. It's Grandmaster Flowers. Um, they, 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 because of the nomenclature issue. Okay. He's he's hip. He's disco. So they call him disco, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So we're going to deal with that. Like, Let's deal with it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there's this whole thing where you sever the umbilical over these term terminology that got construed by people not doing their homework. Mm -hmm. Discotheque is a French word and it means library of music. It's where you go to hear a library of music. So you can go to a disco and hear salsa, merengue, calypso, hip hop, sulka, you know what I'm saying? You hear anything. Mm -hmm. What happened was they, they brought that to America and put it in these big clubs and people not saying, okay, this is a discotheque and they playing this style of music. They automatically said that was disco music. In, in the hood, they played dance records. Mm -hmm. The hip hop culture was playing their parents' record collection. So yeah. who, who's hip hop? Mm -hmm. You know the what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the parents, parents are. Right. The parents, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, my whole collection was my mother's collection. Same <laughs> and here. I would take my mother's records and go do my parties, you know? And she would be seriously upset about me messing <laughs> up her records. <laughs> You know, she was needle dropping, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and so um, to come back around, we, what, what happened is this, through this terminology, we sever people out of the story and then we come up with this, you know, birth thing. So now it's reset mm -hmm. instead of looking at, wait a minute, there's oh. these guys. Yeah. These guys were here, mm -hmm. and these are the DJs. So the DJ culture, uh, people started uh, catching on and being inspired by these other DJs. Mm -hmm. The biggest DJ community was not the Bronx. It was Brooklyn. Brooklyn was the biggest DJ place you can go. Grandmaster wow. Flowers was the was the biggest DJ, street DJ, DJ. Pete DJ Jones was the biggest New York City DJ. He was from the Bronx, but uh, his name you would hear is, when I first heard Pete DJ Jones, I thought, you know, I thought DJ meant, you know, uh, 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 Darren Justice or Darren James. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that was his middle name. I didn't mm -hmm. know that meant a disc jockey, right. you know, and that's how old, that's how long ago that was, you know, and 